including the family of Lancaster and the family of York, Henry VII, the victor of the Wars of the Roses, married the York Princess Elizabeth. Their first son was Arthur Tudor, who married the Spanish Princess Catherine of Aragon. Arthur died, however, just months after the marriage, and Catherine then married Arthur's brother, Henry VIII. After producing a daughter, Mary, the famous King Henry eventually divorced Catherine and parted from Rome, founding the Church of England. Henry's second wife was Anne Boleyn, their offspring being another daughter, Elizabeth. After marrying yet again, this time to Jane Seymour, the heir to the English throne was their son, Edward VI. He ruled, however, only for a short time before dying at the age of 15. Edward passed over his sister's claim to the English throne and appointed as his successor, Lady Jane Grey. Jane Grey was only queen for a few days before being declared a traitor by Parliament and proclaiming that the rightful heir was Mary Tudor. After executing Lady Jane Grey, Mary's rule was historically defined by her persecution of Protestants. The hundreds of English executions by Bloody Mary were not only a political necessity but may have had a personal basis as well. The Church of England was founded on her parents' divorce. Mary married the Spanish King Philip II, a devout Catholic. However, when Mary died childless, her half-sister, Elizabeth I, took the throne. The ascension of Elizabeth now secured Protestantism in England. When her rule was threatened by the Catholic Mary Stuart, Elizabeth beheaded her Scottish cousin. Before her execution, Mary, Queen of the Scots, was exiled from Scotland by Protestants her son, James VI, being left in their care. When the House of Tudor became extinct upon the death of the childless Elizabeth I, James VI became James I, the King of England. James diplomatically produced the King James Bible, the first Protestant Bible authorized by a monarch, a milestone for Protestants worldwide. The English crown was then passed to James's son, Charles I, who married the French queen Henrietta Maria, a Catholic. In red velvet boots lined with fur, perfumed gloves, and a silver dress embroidered with brilliant colored flowers, Henrietta Maria left Paris for Canterbury in May of 1625. There were also 28 priests who accompanied her as well. The future Queen of England had written to Pope Urban VIII promising to remain faithful to the Church and work for the liberty of Catholics in England. Awaiting across the shore were dour-faced Puritans dressed plainly to show a godly life, but equipped with a shrewd political strategy. 